the pickup truck, as American as apple pie. Once just a tool for the working class tradesman, farmer, rancher, it has evolved into a vehicle for all walks of life. It's a family vehicle, tow rig, hauler, and performance donut machine. Few vehicles, if any, have made way for such a diverse advancement of engineering technology. Today, we reap the benefits of those advancements. And they've led to some pretty interesting features which we're going to cover in this video. This is Cool Pickup Features, and you're watching Four Wheel Reviews. Hello there, I'm Jeff. I just wanted to welcome you into the channel really quickly. I hope you enjoyed the little intro that I put together that was kind of fun to do. But anyways, let's get on to this list. Well, as far as this list is concerned, I was surprised as I started jotting down these features how many I was able to come up with and how many different manufacturers made the list. Let us know in the comments how useful you think some of these features are and let me know what you like that didn't make the list. There's really no structure to this list. I'm gonna jump around to keep it interesting. And I kinda of saved the weird stuff till last. Hope you enjoy. Let's start out by talking about a pair of trucks that haven't hit the market yet, and that's the new Chevy Colorado and GMC Canyon. There are a couple of interesting features here. The first is their underbody camera system. These are front and rear facing cameras, viewable from the infotainment screen, to help you navigate through obstacles off-road. It will be interesting to see how these hold up and if people find them useful. Also available on these trucks is a storage compartment built into the tailgate. Chevy calls it the Stoflex tailgate. I like hidden storage on pickups. Places to store toe straps, rope, tie downs, gloves, and things like that. There are a number of storage features on this list and we'll get into those a little bit later. But first let's talk tailgates. My favorite trick tailgate on the market is Ram's 6040 split tailgate. It's the ability to get closer to the bed that appeals to me, and I like the tailgate on the Honda Ridgeline for the same reason. I know GM's MultiPro tailgate offers similar functionality and more configurations, but I much prefer the controls on the Ram and Honda tailgates. The Ridgeline has a separate mechanical handle to operate the swing gate, and Ram uses buttons at the top and bottom of the handle area to gain access. I find GM's tailgate clumsy to use with the buttons that release the tailgate sections being right on top of each other. There's nothing intuitive about using it. Particularly when lifting the tailgate, I would often unlatch the center section unintentionally when trying to lift the tailgate. I'm willing to bet though with some more experience that would be less of a problem, but I consider it frustrating to use during the limited time I spent with it. There have been a lot of advancements to towing tech made recently, but one of my favorite tech features is the hitch assist option offered by multiple manufacturers. This will guide your vehicle to the trailer, making hitching a breeze. Okay, it's time to talk convertibles. Wait, I thought we were talking trucks. Ah, we can't forget about the Jeep Gladiator, the only convertible pickup truck. I think this is the perfect vehicle for a lake home or beach house. How versatile. You can use it for towing a boat, hauling things, and when your work is done, start popping off body parts and you've got a convertible cruiser. And if you crave a bit more open air but need a full-size truck, the Tundra has you covered with its full roll-down rear window. This is also very useful if you need to evacuate the cabin air in a hurry. I'm reminded of a fishing trip years ago where a couple people got a little too deep into the beef jerky and made life miserable for those of us in the back seat. Well, backseat comfort has come a long way since that fateful day I was stuffed into the back of that extended cab pickup. Seats are actually comfortable now, and there are neat features like this center console in the Ram with cup holders and a storage area. It's nice for the backseat passengers to have that extra storage on long trips. Speaking of storage, did I mention I love storage? GM full-size trucks come available with this cool storage compartment inside the seat backs. Ram also has some cool in-floor compartments, which are great for stowing tie-downs and such. I love these hidden compartments, as I'm not a fan of the big open-top compartments under the seats. 
I'd rather have the floor space. As far as the front seat goes, the biggest trick feature probably belongs to Ford. I'm talking about their fold flat workspace. This came out a few years ago, but I can really appreciate the functionality of something like this after spending more time eating and doing other tasks inside my vehicle the past few years due to the pandemic. Let's go back to the exterior and talk storage. There are a couple of options for exterior storage outside of GM's new Stoflex tailgate. Hopefully that makes it to the full-size trucks as well. But one of the oldest is the underbed trunk, pioneered by the Honda Pilot. The new Hyundai Santa Cruz also offers this feature. Nissan, for a short period of time, offered a small box-side compartment on the Titan, but if you're looking for box-side storage, the king is RAM with their available RAM box bed. And since we're talking truck boxes, I should mention the expanded use of box-side and bumper corner steps in recent years. These may not look all that cool, but you are going to look cooler when you're not struggling to climb your bumper or box-side or assembling a staircase from the tailgate of your truck. Well, on the topic of functionality, one of the great advancements in productivity and versatility has to be the growth of onboard AC power. I was pumped when my 2013 F-150 came with a measly 150 watt inverter in the console. Fast forward less than a decade and we've got gas pickups that have 7.2 kilowatt power systems integrated into the bed. Ford's Pro Power on board isn't the only game in town though. Even the simple by comparison Toyota Tacoma has an available 400 watt outlet available in the bed. An even bigger surprise is how fast we went from 150 watt inverters being a big thing to full on electric trucks. They have arrived and they're coming fast. The big three will each have at least one out in the next couple of years. Tesla seems perpetually a year away with their Cybertruck, but Rivian has made it to the market and I want to talk about some of their cool features. The first one isn't Rivian exclusive. It's actually common on all electrics and that's the frunk. In my opinion, one of the few drawbacks to daily driving a pickup is the lack of covered storage. There's just something about having a trunk or a cargo area like an SUV to keep things secure that's appealing. Okay, before we get into Rivian's coolest feature, I want to talk about its second coolest available feature, and that's the built-in onboard air. Aside from the ability to air up and down on the off-road trail, there are many situations where having an air compressor on board is quite handy. From low tires to inflating camping gear and bike tires, it's sure to be popular with outdoorsy people. If you're familiar with the Rivian R1T, you know what's coming. Yes, it's the gear tunnel. I don't even need to explain why this is cool. The optional camp kitchen is discontinued at the time of video production, but that's because it's being redesigned, so watch for that to hopefully return in the future. Well, the R1T has a plethora of off-road worthy features, but if electric isn't your bag, or you don't have the 73K it takes to get into the base model, well, the market has you covered. We're starting to see multiple levels of off-road packages available on pickup lines. From things as mild as the standard off-road package with skid plates and upgraded shocks to two to three inch factory lifts all the way up to high performance off-roaders like the TRX and Raptor. Whether you're a hardcore off-roader or maybe just a sportsman who might appreciate those extra inches of clearance when you're hunting or out on a frozen lake, it's pretty cool to have those options available at different price points without affecting your factory warranty. Well, if you feel the need to crab walk your pickup, first, I'd like you to tell me why in the comments. Seriously. Second, you need to check out the Hummer EV. Apparently GM hasn't gotten all the quadrasteer out of their system, but I do have to admit, this is kind of cool. This next feature is a little bit out there, and it's not for everyone, but it is cool, and a whole lot cheaper than crab walking. I'd actually like to see this kind of thing expanded beyond this one model. And this feature is a Ford Maverick feature, and it's what Ford calls FITS, Ford Integrated Tether System. This allows you to design and 3D print accessories to adapt storage areas to fit your needs. Like I said, not for everyone but it opens up the aftermarket to come up with useful products for Maverick owners. And it gives that group of tinkerers the ability to personalize their ride. Well, I hope the video was educational, if not entertaining. 
I'd like to shout out the growing list of subscribers. I appreciate you guys very much. Thanks for watching.